Time now for Better Food, and we are so excited to be joined by the one and only Coach Gino Ariema and the executive chef of his new restaurant, Cafe Aura, Erminio Cante. Did yeah. I say that right? Yeah, you did the right thing. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, Gino usually is in a lot of demand around this time. You were so happy you're here and you're cooking with us. We're making a potato gnocchi black truffle sauce. So yep. um, as we focus on the positive, this is one of the delicious things we can focus on to make us all feel a little better, right? Yeah. You know, and especially in this time, uh, you know, we're trying to take all the precautions that we can, make it as healthy and as friendly and as responsible as we can. And... Just give you an idea, this is what Arminio likes to do. Well, yeah. I've been to the restaurant twice. I was there, when was I, Saturday? What was it, Saturday? Friday. Friday. I was there Friday, and this is exactly what I ordered. I ordered the gnocchi with the truffle. It was absolutely amazing. And then I had enough leftovers because the portion was so big that I had it for lunch yesterday. So it was Ooh, really yum. awesome. How about Actually, that? Actually, a couple of days ago. All right, so we're making this, right? Of course we make it. All right, um, let me get out of your way, chef. Thank you very much, coach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's very simple dishes to make. Okay. You know, it's uh, basic is uh, mascarpone cheese. Okay. Okay. I got we, that can, for we, you. we can also add some uh, some of these black truffle. Black truffles are very delicious. Aren't they mm. expensive? Uh, it's uh, very expensive very potato, expensive. I say. That's why you're it's treating very, yourself when you go to Cafe it's Ora. Very, it's a very <laughs> expensive potato, but at the end, it gives uh, the right flavor to the dish. What's what is that? that? This base is uh, the mascarpone with heavy cream and the cream of, uh, of um, truffle. Okay. You know, you reduce until it, it gives this nice color. Mm. Oh, that looks beautiful. You know, and uh, you sprinkle with some uh, Parmesan cheese to give extra cheesy flavor. So it's not, never enough, the cheese, you know? You know, the restaurant is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's a, a restoration hardware. I mean, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Who designed it? Uh, a woman by the name of Libby Langdon from uh, New York City. Oh, she who, did a um, beautiful job. Yeah, she just did a fantastic job. And this job. is at the Old Cavies. This is at the Old Cavies, So if yeah. you're looking to find it, it's really easy. In Manchester. In, in Manchester. Manchester, Connecticut. So, Correct. Do you know, does this, are the recipes, anything about the restaurant, is it inspired at all by your own family? Well, uh, some of it is uh, just traditional Italian. Some of it is what uh, Arminio brings from his region of Italy. I'm from southern Italy, outside of Naples. I'm from Puglia. Ormino's from Puglia. Puglia. So we have a combination of things, and, uh, you know, it's a little bit of everything. And I think if you love Italian food, you're going to love You're going to find something that you really, really like. The chicken parm was out of this world. I had the chicken parm. We also had the, uh, it's huge. It looks like a, it looks like it's almost as big as this dish. And uh, we had the tuna tartare, mm. the appetizer. Yeah. Oh, it was absolutely spectacular. It was just so wonderful. So I, you got to go. So that looks absolutely beautiful. That's the gnocchi. And gnocchi, the, 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 do you make your own pasta? Yeah, we there? make we make the gnocchi. We bake the potato in the oven on a bed of uh, kosher salt. We let rest overnight. We peel the next day, and we add at least one egg for uh, each. Uh, for each potato, you know, okay. it depends on the recipe, how many, how many you're gonna, you're gonna prepare. And you add with a little bit of salt, pepper, the eggs, and the Parmesan cheese. And then at the, re at the end, when it rests, you, you roll it up and you cut in this size one by one. Oh my okay. goodness, that's, that's delicious. Do you know how old is the restaurant? How long have you been there now? December 10th. Oh, so was our really first. recent. Yeah, it took us from June to then to get it ready. Um, it's just a lot of, uh, a lot of work, as you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. You know, Steve Cavaniero, who had uh, cabbies for, since 1933. 1933. 1933. Um, so obviously there's a lot of tradition, a lot of history in that building. Uh, but we needed to make a couple changes to get today's, today's vibe. Yep. Yeah. And, and you uh, got it. And it's we got beautiful it. beautiful yeah, and, and fresh. This, the parking it. is in the back of the building. So when you pull in, you're going to see Cafe Aura right there. Just go down the little driveway there, and there's plenty of parking in the back. I hear you have great And we're desserts. proud of our pot. We're proud of our bar. <laughs> yes, exactly. The bar is excellent. You know, it's beautiful. And so we've got we've, these beautiful cakes. I know there's only 30 seconds left. We'll show you. But you want to check it out. Uh, you can visit Cafe Aura on East Center Street in Manchester. For more information, go to CafeAura.com. You can find them on Facebook and 
Instagram at Cafe Aura CT. Again, it's right on East Center Street. And who knows? The coach just might be hanging the coach out there. Might be hanging out there. It's awesome. <laughs> there's I'm some for free. Sure there's some free time. There's some free time. Free time right in now. your future. Have yeah. a great weekend, everybody. Stay safe and stay calm, and have a great one. Wow, that looks amazing.